Okay, another night for you. This time I'm in the shed. Uh, this is my workshop. This has just been built recently and this is where I'm going to be doing my woodworking. But um, also I'll be doing some videos here if the quality is alright. So hopefully you'll be able to see some machetes um, sometime in the future. So we're looking at a very famous knife. This is a knife that everyone knows of. If you're into camping, bushcraft, knives, anything like that, outdoors walking, you know what this is, the Mora Companion. Um, the most basic knife one of the most basic entry level knives that are out there, especially for camping and bushcraft um, but they're of good quality so this is actually, I think this is a more special a, a special edition because you can see the whole handle is orange usually this, this piece here would be uh, black whereas this one is full orange now the handle in the middle is rubberized some of the texturing is gone because obviously I've had this for like what, 4 years, 5 years maybe and uh, it's my most used knife. Now before I forget, I will say these brighter parts here, and I think this would apply to all of these uh, companion knives, is some sort of harder plastic where again the middle is rubber. Um, so let's just have a look at the measurements of this knife. So what we're looking at here, we're looking at about 21, 21 and a half centimeters overall blade, let's have a look just under 10 centimeters handle 12 centimeters now this is a drop point knife and of course it is a true full, grandi, full scandi grind knife now that's one of the most attractive things about this knife is the fact that it is a full scandi Scandi grind is absolutely my favourite because it's the easiest to sharpen and you can easily get it to a razor sharp edge. It's very simple to do and it helps the fact that the grind is so large it's easier to sit on a stone and it shops very easily as well. So this is one of those knives that is extremely easy to maintain and I've also found that it's very easy to maintain on a sharpening steel that you would keep in the kitchen. I don't know how many times I've sharpened this sucker, I've had it from razor sharp to very blunt to razor sharp more times than any other knife. Um, but like I said before, this is probably my most used knife. I bought this about 4 or 5 years ago of Heine Haynes for around £12. This is the stainless steel version. I don't think you'll even be able to see any of the markings now because of everything I've done with it. I've tried to, tried to polish up the blade, uh, failed miserably because you know, there's a big hollow in the middle. It's kind of like trying to flatten a, a plane or a chisel or something. You know, you've just got to rub it on the rub it on the, the stone or the sandpaper for hours, and you know, it's just one of those things you just feel like giving up on because you've got a sore arm, and you just, you know, you get what I'm trying to say. Right now, it is reasonably sharp. Of course, this is not a factory edge. I mean, God, God knows how many times I've I've sharpened this thing. I mean. I've used this for everything from eating my dinner in the house to taking camping. Just earlier on, I was use it, using it as a fire poker to um, to move to move the the wood and coal and the, the barbecue from uh, from burning waste wood from the shed. Waste wood from the shed. I've used it for whittling and you know I've eaten through it a few times. Good little knife. It stood up to everything I've asked for it. It asked from it. Let's just have a look to see how sharp this thing is. Now I just sharpened it just the other day on an old oil stone and gave it a little bit of a strop. So that's reasonably sharp. Of course it could be way sharper but like I said I was poking at things with it earlier on so it's not quite as sharp as it could be. Dropped it a few times as well which really does not help. You're looking to destroy the edge by dropping it. Not quite shaving sharp at the moment, of course I absolutely could get it shaving sharp. What can I say really, it's a fantastic little knife for the money. Um, I also do have the carbon steel version which um, I have in the OD green. Pretty much the exact same thing. The sheath, just your standard Mora hard plastic sheath. Absolutely nothing wrong with it, works fine and to be honest it's just, there's just something about that that's kind of satisfying. The belt clip, 
Uh, personally, I like it a lot. I mean, you don't have to undo your belt. You can just lift that up, slide it on. There you go, easy. We've also got a couple of holes in the back. Um, I've been using that just to hang it up on the wall. I've got a screw just above my phone, actually, where I just like to hang it beside my chisels and files. This one from now on is going to stay in the house. Previously, this is one that I used to do camping or to do whittling or whatever, but this one's going to stay in the shed now. Um, yeah, just a fantastic Swedish made knife. Not really that much more I could say about it because, well, it's been spoken about that much on YouTube and, well, there's my thoughts on it. 10 out of 10, really. Well, anyway, uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Do let me know how the quality of this video is, if you could hear me all right and if you could see everything all right. Thanks for watching.